Are we seeing real chaos already in Pakistan today? Well, I think, you know, um, really the, the Taliban attacks in Pakistan have had the ability to really paralyze many sections of the government and the pub public. For example, the education system has stopped working. Uh, schools are being closed. Um, uh, people are not going out of their houses. Uh, there's an enormous fear in the country. Uh, um, so in, in that sense, of course, they are not winning. Um, they're not being able to take more territory or anything like that. But they have been very effective in trying in, in, in paralyzing uh, large areas of the country. So that's basically maybe their uh, strategy to increase intimidation in order to, to not maybe take over the government, but to destabilize the government in place? Yes, uh, I think they want to intimidate the government, they want to um, uh, 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 paralyze the country's economy and social life, uh, they want to send a very strong message to the army that they can stretch the army over um, uh, by having attacks in, in the north and the south and the west and the east of the country. Um, uh, uh, they've shown, you know, their ability. The question is, you know, is this sustainable for any length of time? Can, how long can they sustain it? We don't know the answer to that. Can they sustain it for weeks or months? Um, in Afghanistan, we've seen that the Taliban have been able to gradually escalate and sustain their attacks over the last um, um, six, five or six years. Yeah. Um, uh, of course, we, if that was to happen in Pakistan, uh, with, with a much larger population, with nuclear weapons, with, with all the rest of it, I mean, uh, there would be much greater chaos. Yeah.